Yo, 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 what's up, family? Before we start the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can. Just want to get it out there a little bit more. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Xavier Tillman has only played about six games for the Celtics, and I think the fans and the coaching staff are already realizing that he's one of the more versatile defenders in the NBA. In this video, I'll try my best to show you why I think he's a chess piece on that end and how the Celtics are using him. So let's get into the film. All right, so we already know that his strength and stocky build allows him to bang down low with other bigs. Even against Jokic, he's strong enough to endure the back downs and not let him get right under the rim, which is sometimes all you can do against a force like that. Celtics will still have a game plan to send help if he's matched up against a guy like Jokic or Embiid, but I feel pretty confident about Tillman against almost any other big. Want them to play freely. Jokic backing down against Tillman, trying to up and under a 360 spin. All right, so we already knew that stuff, but now let's get into what I think makes him a chess piece. So here, Taylor Horde Tucker is one of the heavier point guards in the league. Peyton Pritchard is a good defender, but he's just too small, and THT just goes right into his sweet spot keeps packing down Pritchard, and then he eventually gets a layup. And in this particular lineup, he's the five man, so he's tasked with guarding Walker Kester here as he does a great job as he always does in these pick and rolls. He's able to get low and take that pass. But at the beginning of the second quarter, Lou Cornette comes in, which means Tillman is the four now. And look who's checking THT. It's Xavier Tillman. This is your backup four slash five who's been on your team about five games and you're already comfortable with matching him up against an opposing team's guard. Pritchard got back down, they put Tillman on him and TSC catches it in the corner. He tries to do a snatch back move to no avail and he misses the shot. And I want to stress that this is not a switch. This is a preferred matchup. THT is bringing the ball up the court and Tillman is above the three point line ready to guard him. The Jazz do a guard on guard screen and roll. Uh, Pritchard does a nice job here on the perimeter and then now he switched on to Clarkson who's a little bit more elusive off the bounce and explosive than THT. Stops that first drive, Payton comes to help, they do a nice job of forcing the ball out of his hands. And then here he finds himself switched on to Clarkson again above the hash mark and he's able to deter the drive again and allow Drew to come get the steal. Alright so now at this point in the game, THT is cooled down, Tillman checked him, he hasn't done a lot since. Now try to find who Tillman is guarding. He's guarding Colin Sexton. And again, this is not a switch. This is at the beginning of the possession. He's down here with Colin Sexton, right? And this is what makes it such a good fit for the Celtics because the Celtics have switchable guys alongside Tillman, like a Derek White, who can go on to a John Collins, guard him in the post, and just completely block his shot, right? And putting Tillman, again, who's another switchable guy, and the coaching staff, putting him on the team's best score at this point in this lineup it is colin sexton them being able to trust their backup big on that is just impeccable and if the last clip wasn't convincing enough here's colin sexton taking the ball down the floor and tillman again above the three-point line ready to guard the opposing team's point guard right he tries to drive the first time he's like no pass to john collins he tries he's going to get it back and now he actually tries to score on tillman tillman deters it gets a good contest and he missed the shot and in the Celtics most recent game against the Suns here he scores against Devin Booker in the post and he turns around just like you know what I, I'll just guard Devin Booker like what the what what and it's just such a luxury right so and then he clear he tried to clear out Hauser comes over to help before it's the pass it looks like D-Bug is gonna get the ball back on his possession he does not but it's just a luxury and you're starting to hear a lot of people talk about optionality and just having guys that you can do different things with especially in the playoffs Tillman again is a chess piece for these reasons and these clips he's able to do this stuff on the regular and then when it comes to switching just pure switching for a big man he is one of the best in the league here he's against Luka Doncic he stays on his hip good job by Al Horford helping so so Luka sees him they pass it and Drew Holiday gets the steal and then here switched on with Kevin Durant above the three-point line ready to guard he puts his hand on him for a little bit you'll see it right here bam gets KD all balanced a little bit he's on his hip and he forces the drive miss and then here again on Devin Booker above the three-point line ready to guard right he drives on them and then look the theme you'll see in this right Tillman forces hella pickups players will be pump faking and be caught in the middle of the ocean trying to find somebody to save them because he forces the pickup he plays good defense he stays down the pump fakes and he forced to miss here and in here against Kyrie Irving 
this is not some elaborate move that Kyrie does. We know Kyrie can do a lot more, but we've seen Kyrie get people with this move. But Tillman is able to stay on his feet, contest, and force the miss. And then here a switch on to Kawhi Leonard. He gets beat initially, but gets the block on the back end. And then one of my favorite clips on Trey Young. Nothing Trey Young did here. This is one of the more elusive guards in the league. Nothing he did got Tillman off balance. He's turning him, he's turning him, and he forced the air ball. And then here a quick one on Jamal Murray. He blocks his shot on the switch. And here against Tyler Hero, he pump the defender. Tillman switches on to him, and again, forced pickup. Now he's stranded in the middle of the ocean trying to find somebody to pass to. And then here against Trey Murphy, switches on to him. Good contest for the miss. And then here against Matherin, one of the best young scorers in the league. The spin move does nothing, and he blocks the shot. And here, this was just an impeccable play against one of the more athletic guys in his league. That spin move did nothing to him. He didn't lose one stride on that spin move defensively, and he gets a good contest. And then this was just a crazy game for him as far as switching. There were so many clips in this game I could have put, but he had about four plays on Keonis where he just didn't go nowhere. He had Chris Paul, he had Klay Thompson, and he puts the arm on him right here. Ah, now he's off balance, and he has to shoot something up. Another strong suit of Tillman's game defensively is his help defense and deflections. His positioning is great more often than not and he specializes in getting his hands on the basketball. He averages 2.1 steals per 75 possessions which is in a 97 percentile and 3.4 deflections per 75 possessions which is in a 90 percentile. As far as blocks go, he averages 2.1 blocks per 75 possessions which is in a 94 percentile and he blocks 30% of the shots he can test in the paint. He's also in a 99th percentile in rim point save. He can do it in a variety of ways. He can get low to snag passes in the pick and roll. He's the turn drives with his presence in lateral movement and other times he's coming out of nowhere to block shots. And lastly, you can put him on some of the more unique players in today's game. Zion in three games against Xavier is nine for 23 and he's forced five turnovers and blocked three shots in that matchup. Carl Anthony Towns is three for 11 on him in two games and Bam Adebayo is two for seven in just one game. But that is the video. Again, if you enjoyed it, please give a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can. Just to get out there a little bit more. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Nick. Peace.